Good afternoon everybody and welcome to another tutorial on our Technique Tuesday. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to just take basic wood pieces and make these really pretty, put these really pretty colors. You're not going to make them but you're going to put them on here and it might even be something you have laying around the house. So what are we going to use to make those? Nail polish. So, if you're not a fan of the smell of nail polish, this is probably not a project for you. But I have uh, multiple different colors, but these are the two I used for these right here. They're just a cheap brand, sorry, inexpensive brand that I think I found at Dollar Tree or somewhere similar to that. I really like the ones that say metal. That's what gave me these finishes, but I also like the glitter ones, and then uh, some of their other colors really turn out pretty. Ooh, that looks pink. It's actually not. It's like a bright safety orange. These are some of the glitter. This is a real pretty blue that's a gel color, and then these are some of the, the reds. So watch how simple this is. Take your wood design, whichever one you want. We're going to do one side at a time. Shake your nail polish. Make sure you hold your finger on the top just in case it's not all the way on. And open the lid. Make sure you haven't just put lotion on your hands to make it hard to open the lid. Trust me on that one. And then we are literally just going to paint it on the top of our wood. In this case, I don't want it going down the sides, so I'm just going to put it right on top. When it runs low, dip back in. A little too much there. And paint. We're then going to leave these for 24 hours, let them dry thoroughly, flip them over, and do the back side. And that's what I did with the uh, gold and the turquoise. So look how quickly I'm able to change the color of these. Now because it's a nail polish, it's, it's already got, or these already have a hardener in them. And they also... Um, don't chip as easily as regular nail polish because it has that hardener. They are also a glossy color so if I don't want to I don't need to seal them because they're already going to shine and they're already going to seal the wood with the color. I have intentionally dropped these. I've tried to chip away at them. I've tried to scratch them and I can't get the color to come off of them. And those were not sealed. So this color is so pretty. I really like this. Now what I could do is put a base color down like this and then once it's fully dry come back and say put a glitter on top. Ooh, wouldn't that be pretty? I'll have to do that once this is dry and then post the picture. So this one's done. If once it's dry you don't feel like you got the coverage you want, just put another layer on. So that one we'll put aside, let it dry 24 hours before we do anything with it. It's probably drier, dry sooner than that, but that's where I'm comfortable just letting it dry for that long. So let's try one of these glitters. We'll try the purple one. You know you must really like a color when you buy two bottles of the same color. So that's what I did with this one. It's a clear with purple glitter. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Got a little globby on the side, so I'll just clean that up. Just run it right along there, and it takes the takes the glitter off the sides of it. 
Now you can see as I'm messing with it, I'm moving the glitter. So this is one that you kind of want to dab it versus paint it. Whereas a moment ago I was doing more of a painting movement. This is more of a dabbing. And again, if it doesn't give you the full coverage you want, wait till it dries, come back and fill in the spots. And that's what I'm going to do with this one because it's not giving me the glitter everywhere that I want. But I think that's a good starting point. All right, we'll let that dry 24 hours. We'll let the red one dry. This one's been dry for a couple of days, and I mean, literally, you can't you can't scratch it off of there. But that was the metal finish. So was this. And I'm not sure that the camera's doing this justice, but it really does have a pretty shine to it. So this one, let's see if we can figure out what color it was. Bubbly. Oh, okay. Sure. And sublime. Well, there you go. Sounds about right. Anyway, I'm going to test out some of these other colors. I'm really liking this blue. So if you want to stay with me, I'm going to do one more. If not, that is as simple as this project is. Just nail polish and go. Thanks for joining us today. Look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks.